Thank you, Greg. Hey, now to the ongoing book battle as dozens of groups fight to ban certain books in schools. School districts in 32 states have banned more than 2,000 books in the past year. The state of Texas leading the way, banning more than 800. Cleo Green with us in studio. So Cleo, some are embracing the censorship and uh, others fighting back. Yeah, a lot of conversation there. Listen, Banned Books Week has been around since the 80s. It celebrates book diversity. Look at the slogan here, books unite us, censorship divides us. Now, if you're scrolling on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you're probably going to see a lot of posts like this one from avid book readers and libraries across the country, including eager free public library in Wisconsin. Their caption here says, happy Banned Books Week. Be a rebel reader and check out one of the most challenged books. The caption here saying telling me about or telling me a book has been banned is like telling me it has been wrapped in bacon and deep fried. So makes you want to read it, huh? But this post here from Keller Public Library, they made a post of their own celebrating national ban books and then the city manager told them to take it down. Here's the deal here. The library used its Facebook account to share an image created by the American Library Association showing the top 10 most challenged books of 2021. Now, the caption said, want to check out any of these titles for yourself? Well, your Keller Public Library card can help you with that. So within hours, the post was deleted. And then in an email, a city spokesperson told WFAA city leadership was concerned that residents would think we are trying to cause controversy given recent debates about books in the school district. So we removed the post as that was certainly not the intent. Well, some Keller residents, they're not happy about that. To me, the city asking the library to remove it was a form of censorship. Right, censorship, a big conversation this morning for Keller ISD parents. I want to get to this Pen America book that was just a released here, showing that Texas had about 801 book bans or challenges for the 2021-2022 school year within 22 school districts. Florida comes in at number two. Number three, Pennsylvania. Kara, I'll send it back to you.